Hi guys, today I want to talk about makeup no buys. Kind of a crazy concept. I've been toying around with the idea of doing a no buy year, but I'm not sure I can make that commitment just yet. <laughs> but I want to talk to you guys about five tips that I have for going on a makeup no buy for whatever period of time it is that you want to try to face. Either it's a month or, you know, a couple months or a few weeks, whatever it is. I have five tips for you guys that I want to share. We're about almost done with the month of January, and so far I haven't bought any makeup, but like I said, I'm not ready to commit to a full no-buy year. I'm still kind of toying around with the idea. But let's start in with the five tips. Number one, let's go with take an inventory. The first thing I did when I was contemplating this idea was to go through all of my makeup and decide what I had of the basics, like how many concealers do I have? How many foundations do I have? How many powders do I have? Can I go a full year without having to buy those things? Like just the necessities, not even just fun makeup, but just the necessities. Could I survive on what I have using it up on the necessities? And from my inventory personally, I think I could. The only thing I'm kind of questionable about is concealers. I may or may not have concealers, enough concealers to last throughout the year, but I'm pretty sure I can get through everything else. <laughs> Taking an inventory is not only going to make you see how much stuff you have of the basics, but how much stuff you have overall. If you took all your stuff and just like laid it out there on the floor or on the bed or whatever and just looked at it, I'm sure it would be a shock. <laughs> and so it might get you to realize that you have a whole bunch of stuff that you use that's totally usable right now. You don't necessarily need to get more eyeshadows or blushes or whatever, like you have plenty. Tip number two, avoid the makeup aisle. Don't make trips just for makeup. I used to do that a lot before I moved out of the house and had to buy my own groceries and stuff like that. But now that I am shopping for my own groceries and stuff and we're, you know, if you're going to the grocery store, don't even look at the makeup aisle. Don't even go anywhere near it. Don't even think about it. Don't, you know, like limit even your like shampoo purchases and stuff so that like you are not near the makeup aisle. I know that's tempting. I know that's a really hard one because sometimes you just want to walk by there just to see, but how often do you go just to see and then you end up picking up something? Tip number three is to organize and declutter. This is kind of similar to taking an inventory, but you want to go through the stuff that you don't use. Like make a pile of stuff that you haven't used in forever that you're probably not going to use. I know this can be really difficult. I know like from my own personal experience, if I would have tried to do this a couple years ago, I would not have been able to part with many things at all. But I've come to this realization that I have plenty of stuff and there's just stuff that's sitting there and doing nothing. And now that it's been a couple years since I, you know, didn't want to do that, I definitely have products that need to be out and away. <laughs> and if you see me looking over here, this is my makeup stuff over here. And so that's what I keep visualizing all of these things over here. But decluttering your stuff can make things look more pretty. You know, like you can see your collection better. You can, like if you get rid of the things that you're not using, then all you have are the things that you love and that can make you more inspired to use them and just make you more into it. You know, like just reorganizing things and kind of setting things up a little bit differently can kind of get you back into like a really good groove with your makeup and you might be able to find some products that you haven't used in a while that you forgot that you really liked. And so just going through your stuff is really helpful for just reinvigorating your love for the stuff you already have. Tip number four, start a shop your stash rotation. And what I mean by that is to go through the things that you don't use all the time and kind of bring them to the front of your collection, you know, put them right on your table, right in front of you or whatever, make a little basket for those particular items or whatever, just bring those forward and make it a point to use them. Things that you haven't used in a while, like I said, things that you forgot that you even had, you know, just rotating out so you're not using the same foundation, the same powder every single day. You're just kind of trying everything out so you can like rotate around things and it's shop your stash because there are things that you've forgotten about. It's almost like going to the store and picking up some new things, you know? They're just things that you haven't used in a while, so it's almost like they're new to you. For the fifth and final tip, I just want to say it's more fun 
the less you go shopping. Like if you haven't shopped in a while, it's more exciting to go and get some things, in my opinion at least. Like my example would be like Starbucks. I never used to, I'm not like a big coffee drinker, I never used to be addicted to Starbucks or anything like that, but getting a Starbucks drink every once in a while is a treat for myself because I don't usually do that. It's a treat. If you're buying makeup every single week, it just feels like part of your routine. If you go a few weeks without buying any, it feels like a treat once you do get to buy it. I know that doesn't necessarily click with some people, but that's just kind of the way that I see it. It's just something fun that you get to reward yourself with instead of like your groceries. It's not just like I'm going to get bread this week, I'm going to get milk this week, I'm going to get a foundation. Like you don't want to make it part of your routine, you want to make it a fun like other aspect of your life. And so like I said, I've been toying around with the idea of doing a no buy this year and so far so good. I mean, we're only a month in, but I'm just kind of taking a different perspective on things. And if you've noticed here on my channel, I haven't been around regularly for a while. I am currently 30 weeks pregnant with baby number two. And ever since baby number one, I've really just kind of been more slacking here on my Lady Marie 91 beauty channel. And I just want to kind of get back into it. I want to get back into makeup. I mean, I've been, I've been wearing makeup for two years, but I just haven't been filming for you guys or getting excited about makeup. And I think that going through and organizing and rethinking my collection is really helping me personally to get more excited about it and to get more enthusiastic and just find that passion that I used to have for my makeup. And so on my own personal level, it's kind of part of me trying to find a balance between motherhood and loving the stuff that I loved before I was a mom. So like I said, I haven't been super active here on this channel, but if you are interested, I'm always active on my mommy channel. It's called Lena's Life. I'll leave a link down below. I do pregnancy updates. I do, you know, baby updates once he's here. You know, I have toddler stuff and just all kinds of mommy things if you guys are interested in those kind of things. I stay pretty regular on that channel. I've just been kind of neglecting my makeup one. <laughs> So I do hope you guys found these five tips helpful. Let me know if there are any other tips you guys have down below and whether you think that doing a no buy year would be a good idea or a bad idea. Just let me know your guys' thoughts down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I will talk to you next time.